Nowadays, Pete is known for working with artists like Pink and Paul McCartney and Casey Affleck, but this Animal Liberation album was the first project that drew artists to speak up for animals. It was named the New York Times Rock Album of the Week. It got rave reviews and Billboard. It charted on indie radio stations. It was a first step for a lot of people, hearing about animal rights and hearing about PETA. And it drew artists like The Smiths and Howard Jones and Susie and the Banshees and Nina Hagen and Lena Lovitch, who do the title song, Don't Kill the Animals. At PETA, we're always happy when somebody will read one of our leaflets and digest the information. Nina and Lena were able to take the information and put it to a dance track. You would go to nightclubs and you would see hundreds of people dancing to Don't Kill the Animals. To mark the 30th anniversary of this project, we're offering a free download of Don't Kill the Animals. So please download it, check it out, give it a spin, share it with your friends, and we hope you like it. Don't Kill the Animals was like the fast, fast, fastest song I ever wrote. Nina came to my house and we sat in my kitchen and boom, 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 just said everything we wanted to say. Awareness has grown already a lot since the 80s, since Peter started to give us inspiration. I, I really thought this was important because I, I thought it's the next step for, for humans, you know, it's evolution. It, everything and connects to, to, to your treatment of animals. I just thought, now is the time. It, because for me, it was, real, it was real. It was making a change in my life. Yeah. And I suddenly felt this fantastic freedom. You know, I wasn't going into a shoe shop and thinking, oh, I must have leather. I mean, you know, is this real leather? Is it not? And I was just really so excited that all that weight was lifted off of me. Fair. And I felt, living. whoa, this is so fantastic. People have to know about it. It's a constant raising of ethical awareness, which is good for us human beings, mm -hmm. because we, we are spirits dressed, clothed in the flesh, but we are mere mortal beings. We tend to forget. Will those people who never showed any love and compassion for their fellow beings, will they enter heaven? I doubt it. We're very happy to be celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Animal Lib album, and I'm happy to report that Every artist involved in this project is alive and kicking. We survived the 80s. We're still thriving today. Vegan longevity. Vegan.